I'm at H&L Rapid True Value. Tips to a great paint job for vertical paint stripes. Hey everyone, it's your girl Chani K. Are you ready for a change? You want to spruce up a room in your place? Well, paint is one of the least expensive ways to transform your place and make any room look brand new. One of the key things is prep. Make sure you buy things like drop cloths or tarp for the ground, painters tape to protect your plugs, edges, etc., and also to help create your lines. Spackling to fill in any holes or cracks, rollers in various sizes along with your tray, and make sure your wall is clean and check if it's not smooth, then you may need a primer. Also, you don't want to run out of paint in the middle of your project. That'll be pure stress. So make sure you tell your H&L Rapid True Value paint bar expert the size of your room. Generally, one gallon covers about 400 square feet, all right? So remember, I did get an extra quart just to be safe. So let's get into things now measure your walls. Remember I gave you a few tips in my DIY video for how to paint vertical wall stripes? Move in horizontally, use a measuring tape and a colored pencil to place a mark every 5 to 12 inches depending on how narrow or wide you want to paint the stripes on the wall. Draw straight lines. Place the colored pencil against the level and extend each stripe line straight down towards the floor. To make it easier, draw your line as level and straight as possible. Apply painter's tape. If it's your first time, like it was for me, remember that it is crucial to place the painter's tape correctly. So carefully apply your painter's tape along the outside edge of each pencil mark. Also, remember, don't press down fully until you are sure your lines are straight. Once it is pressed down firmly on the inner edges of the tape to create nice, crisp, clean lines so your striped walls look amazing. Paint the base color. Paint the wider stripe of the two stripes you marked off with your base paint color or if you are like me, the first of your two stripe colors. Make sure to overlap your painting onto the painter's tape. This prevents your accent stripe color from bleeding underneath the tape. And here's a tip. Make a light X on the stripes that should be painted over with the accent color or second color to help you track or mark arrows on the painter's tape. Paint the accent stripe. Apply a second coat if needed. Remove tape while the accent paint is still a little wet. Continue making stripes and carefully remove the tape until the last accent stripe is made. Here's another tip. If you're trying to decide on accent colors for stripes on your walls, look at the patterns in fabrics, upholstery, and other decor in the room for striped accent wall color ideas. And remember, you can take a cushion or piece of fabric with you to H&L Rapid True Value for the paint bar experts to help you color match. Good luck in your next DIY project. Okay, bye. <laughs>